T-Rex? Mm -hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh -huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie mistakes that left us speechless. Hey. After all this time. Always. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most egregious and obvious goofs that can be found in popular movies. What do you make of these mistakes? Do they take away from the experience? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Spieling Error. The Dark Knight Rises. Can I have a ride? You read my mind. Many movies utilize the trope of displaying a newspaper headline to convey important story information. And most movies, you know, get the spelling right. It's the kind of thing you should quadruple check before slapping your knees and calling it a day. When Bruce is doing some research, he finds a headline that reads, Police suspect cat burglar in Jewel Heist. You haven't been down here in a long time. Trying to find out more about our jewel thief. Viewers should immediately notice that Heist is spelled wrong, with the E and I swapping places. Turns out, the I before E except after C rule isn't hard science. Luckily, we can pretend that this is an in-universe mistake that was made by the paper's copy editor. Nobody ever accused me of being dumb. You're dumb for coming here tonight. Number 9. The Deleted Octopus. The Goonies. Editing a movie is a very difficult process. Not only do you have to put the story in chronological order, but you have to make sure that there are no holes in the plot. Hey kid, I want you to spill your guts. Tell us everything. 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 If a scene is deleted from the finished movie, you have to make sure that all references to said scene are also deleted. Unfortunately, this slipped by the post-production process of The Goonies. At the end of the film, Data makes a curious reference to an octopus that the group apparently came across. What happened out there? Were your lives in danger? The octopus was more scary. Oh, was no. Yeah, octopus. it was more dangerous. The scariest yeah. thing was walking the plank. That's because the group did come across an octopus, but the sequence was deleted from the theatrical version. As it stands, Data is just teasing us with a fun thing we never got to see. Number 8. The Baby Doll – American Sniper Working with babies is notoriously difficult. They're loud, they're unreliable, and they don't take direction particularly well. Talk about unprofessional. Making memories by myself. I have no one to share them with. Movies find all sorts of creative ways to get around a lack of physical baby, and American Sniper went with the doll route. Unfortunately, this amounted to little more than buy a doll from Walmart, slap some clothes on it, and hide its waxy face from the camera. Even when you're here, you're not here. I see you, I feel you, but you're not here. Whether that's exactly what happened or not, these scenes look ludicrously bad. The infamous doll prop actually found its way onto the mainstream news. You know a goof is especially awful when it gets singled out like that. We all know it's not unusual for a baby to steal a scene in a movie. Of course. We all oh, see that no. happen all the time. Puppies and babies. Yep, don't, don't work with them. But a fake baby? <laughs> a fake... Now that turned into a real <laughs> scene stealer. Number 7. The Time Traveling iPhone. Bernie. This film is mostly known for Jack Black's against type performance as Bernie Tita, a real person who killed an elderly woman named Marjorie Nugent back in 1996. Marjorie, are you okay? Marjorie, say something to me. Marjorie, can you talk to me? Marjorie, can you say something? Oh, no, 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 Jesus, no, 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 what have I done? The film is a period piece and retains the mid 90s setting of the real life story. Yet, shortly after Bernie kills Marjorie, he answers an iPhone. Hello. This is obviously impossible, as the iPhone wouldn't be introduced for another decade. 
Richard Linklater is an Oscar-nominated director, so it's weird that something so obvious slipped by his watchful eye. Most people don't mind the odd anachronism, but this is just egregious. She's with me right now, Lloyd, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but she's had a series of small strokes. I've been meaning to call you and let you know her situation. Number 6. The Levitating T-Rex Jurassic Park Steven Spielberg is a masterful filmmaker who has crafted some of the greatest movies ever made, including Jurassic Park. My dear Dr. Sattler, welcome to Jurassic Park. Yet, his films are not without their flaws. The T-Rex breakout sequence is one of the most iconic scenes in movie history, but it contains a massive goof that is very hard to overlook. When the characters park outside the cage, the ground is level between the path and the enclosure, allowing the T-Rex to simply waltz on through the gate. However, when the T-Rex pushes the car into the enclosure, it falls down a huge drop-off and lands in some trees. We guess Hammond gave his dinosaurs a little something-something that allowed them to defy gravity. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Number 5. The Cowboy Pirate. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. The production values of this classic are nothing short of superb, featuring stellar visual effects, costuming, and makeup. But along the way, it looks like a present-day filmmaker found himself in a shot that was meant to depict the early 1700s. Shortly after Jack says, On deck, you scabrous dogs! And for braces! Some men in the back left start scrambling and reveal a very out-of-place crew member. He's wearing a cowboy hat, a white shirt, and sunglasses, and he's just kind of chilling and looking off to the horizon. Now, bring me that horizon. Maybe the camera wasn't supposed to pan that far left, or maybe the crewman wasn't supposed to be there. Either way, it's a major whoopsie. Number 4. The Famous Background Sweeper Quantum of Solace This is often regarded as one of the weaker Daniel Craig Bond films, and it also contains what is arguably the most famous mistake in the franchise's long history. Better keep thinking. He's dead. Now what? All the dam we saw will have to come down. And there'll be others too. Someone who worked for Green might be of help. As Bond sits on his bike, an extra in the background mimes sweeping the ground. This type of thing is actually quite common in filmmaking, and it's likely that the extra was explicitly told not to make contact with the ground. Otherwise, the brushing noises of the broom would interfere with the audio of the scene. The Americans are going to be none too pleased about this. The only problem is, the broom is about a foot off the ground, so the illusion is not in the least bit convincing. It's a beautiful necklace. Did he give it to you? Yeah, I just like it. Number 3. Ye Medieval Car Braveheart As far as we know, there were no cars in 13th century Scotland, Braveheart is filled with anachronisms, as historical accuracy was thrown out the window. A child who is not of your line grows in my belly. Your son will not sit long on the throne, I swear it. But there's one major anachronism we just can't ignore. Just before William Wallace orders the manned abbatee at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, a white car can be seen on the left side of the frame. The shot only lasts for about a second, and viewers may be too focused on the charging horses to even notice. But those that do are taken right out of the otherwise stellar sequence. This goof would later befall the Lord of the Rings, as a car appeared behind Sam and Frodo. If I take one more step, It'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. However, the famous vehicle was digitally erased for the DVD release. Number 2. You Have Your Mother's Eyes Harry Potter Franchise 
Harry Potter is told numerous times that he has his mother's eyes. But you look so like your father. Except your eyes. Yeah, my mother's eyes. This even becomes an integral part of the story as we learn that Professor Snape loved Lily Potter. Her eyes are the last thing he sees before he dies. You have your mother's eyes. But Harry doesn't have Lily's eyes. In the films, Lily clearly has dark brown eyes and Daniel Radcliffe has blue eyes. They are nowhere near the same. To make matters even worse, they are both supposed to be green. Radcliffe was actually given green contact lenses, but the material irritated his eyes. With J.K. Rowling's permission, the contacts were dropped and Radcliffe played Harry with his natural eye color. But that raises the question, why not then make Lily's eyes blue? Your parents fought against him, but nobody lived once he decided to kill him. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Infamous Stormtrooper Bonk Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope and here we come to what could be the most famous goof in movie history. Take over. As stormtroopers file into a room on the Death Star, the one on the right bonks his head on the sliding door. This extra was played by a man named Michael Leader, and he gamely carried on with the scene despite the now famous mishap. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? This goof eventually became one of the movie's most popular scenes and a major part of Star Wars fandom. In fact, a funny bonk sound effect was added to the movie for its 2004 DVD release, which hilariously incorporates the real world mistake into an in-universe blunder. The idea of an evil stormtrooper slamming his head into a door is just too funny. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.